Hey, what's going on, guys? So, yeah, you're reading it right there on the screen. Google's Manifest V3 changes will soon disable uBlock Origin on Chrome. The developers behind uBlock Origin have released a light version that is a Manifest V3 compliant, but it is not a perfect substitute. So, guys, in the future, all right, there's going to be a version of Chrome, the Chrome browser. It's also going to affect any Chromium web-based browser, such as even Microsoft Edge, you know, the Windows Edge browser, because that is based on Chrome. So uBlock Origin will not work in the future versions of Chrome, all right, because of this uh, Manifest V3, all right. And what Manifest V3 is, it's basically um, it changes to extension to the extensions platform that will make it more difficult, all right, for ad blockers um to function effectively right so uh, this is because the new version will limit ability of extensions to block certain types of ads all right it gives website owners and advertisers more control over what users see all right so that's what basically manifest v3 is um so the the too long didn't read for this is uh google has announced that manifest v3 will roll out on chrome in a non-stable branches as early as uh, June 2024 so it's been rolled out it's been rolled out already um, uh, this will um, dep uh, uh, depre uh, dep depreciate manifest v2 uh, which many ad blockers like uBlock Origin use for their functionality right so uBlock Origin developers have released a light version it's called uBlock Origin light however it's not like a replacement for um uBlock origin right it says right here it's not a complete substitute uh so yeah uBlock origin is hands down the best ad blocker extension ever it's the best all right that you can use on any browser right chrome firefox edge brave etc all right um So here, this article just explains like what is the news on Chrome's Manifest V3, uh, what is V3, what is Manifest V3, and what is the problem with it. It goes on to talk about uh, APIs. All right. However, you know they talk about uBlock Origin Lite. Um, while the demise of uBlock Origin on Chrome seems imminent, the same developer has released uBlock Origin Lite. All right, uh, a manifest v3 compliant version of uBlock Origin using the new API for users who would like a set and forget ad blocker. The light version should come close to the same experience, though it remains to be seen how Google's most recent changes expand its functioning. So, yeah, this is a uh, uBlock Origin right, right here, uBlock Origin light. Let me turn off the dark mode. So, yeah. Uh, a permission a permissionless content blocker ad block ads trackers miners and more immediately upon and more immediately upon installation all right uh you you b o light which or you block origin light all right is a m v three based content blocker all right the default rule site corresponds to you block origin's default filter sets all right so it allows these filters only right um and you can also add more rule sets. All right. So, what do you guys think, guys? Um, in my opinion, stop using Chrome. Honestly, stop using Chrome. Stop using any Chromium-based browser. Highly suggest you use Firefox or Firefox-based browsers. What I'd use, I use LibreWolf. All right. LibreWolf is a free and open-source uh, Firefox-based browser. All right. A custom version of Firefox focused on privacy, security, and freedom. All right, to get it, go to LibreWolf.net. So here's talks about what is LibreWolf. Main features: no telemetry, guys. No telemetry. That means it doesn't collect your data, and it doesn't sell your data. It doesn't send your data off to, uh, you know, companies or things like that. So. No experiments, no adware, no no annoyances, or unnecessary distractions. All right. 
you can even use a private search all right privacy conscious search providers uh, DuckDuckGo, which I don't use DuckDuckGo, Searx, I don't use Searx either, uh, and Quant and more, right, so, but you can also even use Google if you'd like, if you don't care about, like, privacy-focused search, um, providers, you can just use Google if you want, I use StartPage, that's my search, uh, engine of choice, so yeah, content blockers are included, all right, so it comes with uBlock Origin already included, for your convenience, all right, enhance privacy, all right, harden to maximize privacy without sacrificing usability, fast update, so LibreWolf is always built from the latest Firefox stable source, for up-to-date security and features along with stability, all right, once again, it's open source, everyone can participate in the development of LibreWolf, all right, so this is my browser of choice, LibreWolf is it in my opinion, the best browser available on PC that you should be using. Not Chrome, not Edge, not Brave. I've never actually used Brave, so I don't know if it's good or not, but yeah, I use LibreWolf, guys. So the war continues, guys. Google, YouTube versus ad blockers. Um, yeah, next year. And I think it's not going to even disable just uBlock Origin. I think they're going to disable many ad blockers, right? Because Google's Chrome, its main purpose that exists for Google is to you is for people to use Google and Google search. That's why they want that's why they release Chrome. They want people to keep using Google, they want people to keep using uh Google products. All right, guys. So, take care everybody. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what browser you use. Let me know how, what you guys are going to be doing when Google starts going crazy and attempting to, to disable ad blockers. Take care, everyone. Peace.